All right, good morning. It is Saturday, and I'm coming over to check some of the corn that I planted. This is the first field that I planted, and I sprayed a tank of uh, Liberty and Roundup on it the other day, so let's see what it's doing. You can see some of the edges are starting to die, but we've had freaking rain every day since then, so. I mean, it's just rain and rain. First it was wind, I couldn't spray for three days because it was windy. And uh, you can see some of the stuff starting to die there. It's so foggy out right now, look. Can't see nothing. This is what I really want. A lot of that stuff right there is starting to die. Starting to turn. You can see that's starting to willow over and that and that. So that's good. But I really want to make sure I kill all this stuff. I mean, a lot of it's dying. If you can look in there, you can see all the grass starting to turn brown. It's just windy for three days and then raining and raining and raining and raining and raining it's just getting ridiculous i can't get anything i got a lot of corn to spray too this is what i want to see right here it's starting to turn that stuff a little bit not as quick as i'd like but let's hope that it you can see all this stuff right here starting to turn but this right here is what i really want to get turned so it's working on it it's just slow process but the rose corn everything looked pretty everything looks pretty good <clears throat> so i don't know when i'll get the spray again it's supposed to be i think nice we had another shower last night and uh i think it's supposed to be nice and get hot all next week so i don't think there there might be a chance of a thunderstorm maybe one day but it's not much of a chance so as soon as it dries up now i just got to get the ground to dry up a little bit so i can get rolling once i get rolling i'm spraying i don't care if i'm spraying in the dark it's it's getting done i gotta get this stuff right here sprayed so it was windy the day i sprayed this but i'm back here it's a cutty hole back here in the woods it's a big field but it's surrounded by woods so i was putting 20 gallons to the acre on so i could only do 50 acres so i knew i could by the time I got done with the tank, I'd still be back here in the woods. I didn't do the front part, but as soon as it dries up, we'll get rolling on it. I'm going to go up to the house and get the planter out, get it cleaned out, and probably wash it up today, unhook it, hook the drill up, and uh, see what happens after that. All right, so it's a little dark in the shop here. It's foggy as hell outside, but... I'm gonna unload the thing. Here's the tray that I got because I was wasting so much corn. So it hooks there. So let's see how it works. Let me get this loose for a second. I have to set you down. Bear with me. Well, of course, I can get the plate loose. Let me get a pair of pliers and then I'll show you. All right, here we go. Let's see here, I got this little handy thing for the camera. All right, so I got the pliers. Let's see how this works. Instead of me wasting a bunch of corn all the time. There we go. Then I take these and put them in. They fit perfect in a five gallon bucket, 16 of them. So, well, looks like it did its job. So it, it caught all the corn, none spilled on the ground. So this is gonna work out perfect. Cause I was spilling, I was spilling so much corn and I just, Take it up. Get it all out of there. 
Then just take and dump it in the bag. Save it for next year. I like that. Put the lid back on it. They told me it's good to take the disc out every year so they don't warp. If I can get it in there, come on, damn it. There we go. I need one more hand. But they say it's good to take the disc out every year so they don't warp. So that's why I'm doing this, getting her empty anyway. I got just barely maybe a bag between both big bulk tanks left in the planter. So my goal is I'm gonna go ahead and get the rows empty, get the planter empty and it's supposed to rain. It's like 7.30, 8 o'clock now in the morning. It's supposed to get another hard shower at 10. So planter's got a little bit of dirt and mud on it back here around the wheels anyway, where we, you know, you go through a couple wet spots here and there. So what my goal is now, I'm gonna get it empty. Then I'm gonna take it outside and just let it sit through the rain because we're done with it and let that rain kind of soften everything up pretty good. And uh, let the rain kind of get everything good and soft and uh, then I'll wash it. But that rain softening up a lot of this stuff will definitely help with the, with the washing part of it anyway. Getting stuff nice and soft for me. Let's see how I get this thing moved on that one. There we go. Now she's locked in there. Maybe I can, all right, I can get that one off. that I was wasting we've done a box caught most of it I was definitely losing quite a bit of corn I guess you wouldn't think it would be a lot but you look on the ground it looks like a lot anyway so and every kernel matters to me so this instead of losing 500 kernels I might lose five kernels I can live with that But that's the goal for today. I know it's too dark for y'all to see, so I'll go ahead and start getting everything empty. So that's the Saturday.
All right, well, it's supposed to rain, like I said, at 10 o'clock. I think it's 8 o'clock, I don't know, 9 o'clock, whatever it is right now. But she's got some mud on her. So I'm gonna pull her over by the wash bay. I'm gonna let her, let the rain kind of rain on her now that she's empty. There ain't no corn or anything in her. Uh, let it get rained on real good. Soak everything up pretty good. And then when I go to pressure wash it and get it clean, it'll come off twice as easy. Uh, get my girl cleaned up the tractor, um, get her unhooked and hook the drill up. So I'm gonna put the sprayer away. As you can see, see how foggy it is you can't see anything i mean it's just crazy foggy this morning so but get the sprayer put away shut everything up and that'll be it for today it's pretty much caught up on everything other than getting the planter wash put away and getting the drill hooked up so i'll let her get good and soak so happy saturday everybody figured i'd ride back on this beaver farm see how the corn was doing Coming up pretty good. It's a wet farm too, and you can see how foggy it is. But the other roads I've started here on that way. Meet, meet it. Chicken manure pile there. That's the only thing bad about chicken manure piles if you don't scrape them down perfect. Definitely not let stuff grow in it. This is a wet farm right here though, but it's good black soil. I'm sure when it gets drier and the corn gets older, it's good to have a little wet farm anyway because it might hold water and help the crop grow. We did pretty good here the first year last year, but it's got some wet spots that we couldn't get with the excavators. Just like this right here is a low spot. Just how it is. I could probably take my little hoe and Put a trench air. But the corn looks good anyway. I mean, it's coming up pretty sweet. This was the last I planted on this side of the road. This is the wettest spot on the farm, but looks like the corn's coming up good back here, too. So that's good. It got up before we really started getting these rains. Um, so that's a big plus right there. There we go, problem solved. A little trench I cut. And you can see that water is running good, so that'll save that spot anyway. I mean, there's corn there, so why not try to save it? As the tile runs into a ditch on this side, corn's coming up pretty everywhere. Yeah, this farm right here is a wet farm, but Hopefully this black soil grows something good. Just wet. It was dry. Got everything planted good. That's what the good thing is. We were able to get in, get everything planted. Um, then it got windy. Once all the corn come up, everything good. I'll, I need, to, like I said, I need to spray a lot of corn, but. It was windy for three days. It was blowing like 40, 50 miles an hour. It's crazy. And then, uh, and then it started just a light drizzle, you know. It was good for the corn, you know. It didn't really flood anything, but the ground soaked it up good. Brought all the corn up, but the problem is now it just, we keep getting them showers. It, you know, we'll have half of a nice day that it'll start dry, and then we'll have an hour shower. And then we'll have a day where it starts to dry, and then we'll have an hour shower that, that gets it wet again. So it's supposed to be nice next week, maybe a chance of rain here and there. But, you know, if we can get a couple good drying days, I can start knocking out some of that spraying and getting a lot of it done. Um, but, you know, just on a different note, the feel bad for the guys out in the Midwest. In Minnesota, a lot of them had 100, and, I think they said 110 mile an hour winds. I saw where it blew some buildings down and some grain bins got blown over. Um, I think they, they said their equipment was better off being left outside than it was inside because, um, you know, the buildings were coming down on their planters and combines and it tore that up too on some of them. So feel bad for them guys. Um, I think they had one death. A, a dairy guy went out to check his cows in the windstorm 
and it actually blew one of his green bins down and the green bin blew through the air and struck him and killed him so that's you know a guy worked his whole life and dies like that it's just crazy so you never know when your time is so anyway that'll be the feel bad for them guys you can't really do anything about it a lot of them they all got insurance they said to cover it but with the way the world is now who knows when you're going to get your equipment fixed or your bins replaced you know it's it's tough to get anything they don't even have baby formula on shelves so it's just the world we live in now it's just crazy so anyway like subscribe share not like i said nothing going on it's supposed to rain again it is 8 40 right now it's supposed to rain again at um 10 i think from 10 to 11 we're supposed to get a shower so that's going to screw everything up so i left the planter out hopefully it'll soak it pretty good now i got everything cleaned out i'm going to uh i'll probably wash it tomorrow and then pull everything out of the, one of the storage sheds and put some of that blacktop coating in there on that dirt floor and uh that'll be sweet so it never stops around here. It doesn't matter if it's Saturday or Sunday. There's always something to do to improve everything. So see y'all later.